Uh, you were giving me a hand signal for something. Okay, all right, you're talking to somebody else. All right, let's go to uh, Elizabeth in Riverview. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, good morning, afternoon. Uh, it, it, it is very difficult to rationalize some of the things that you hear President Trump, and I call him President Trump, not, <laughs> not because he reminds me of a wandering unemployed person or anything, but because he tramples on so much of what I believe in. And, and yet the program that preceded you yes. spoke of the motives that caused the erection of the Right. Monument right here in Tampa. It was dedicated in, in the depths of racism. That's it. That's horrifying. I, I didn't realize truthfully that, that that existed at one time. But it also goes to show you, you may take the reporter out of the newsroom, but you can't take the newsroom out of the reporter. Tom Sherberger was a former journalist, Thank but God he had the reporter's instincts to go to dig that up. And the other programs that are on here and for the reporters, what would we do without you? We, we'd all be idiots. Well, we? you're very kind, but uh, I appreciate the call. Thank you. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And let's go to uh, Levi in Polk. Hi, Levi. Yes. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're on the uh, Pretty much all over the board today with the discussion. Uh, do we have a topic specifically? No, we're just kind of killing time here. <clears throat> okay, well, I heard that vision being mentioned among the population. Um, I believe this could be a result of the internet. Oh, I think you're right. I mean, a lot of this, this uh, thanks to the uh, multiple, multiple uh, media platforms we have in our society today, and that, uh, that not to mention cable, but all the other social media, the Facebook and everything else that's available. Yes, there's plenty, there's many more opportunities for racists to spew their venom than there was the 25, 30 years ago. No yeah, doubt about that. Yes, and that's more than just opportunities. Were you an intelligence guy? Did I hear you mention that one time? No, I was never in the... the uh, oh, okay. Could have been somebody else. I've been a scribbler all my well, life. Well, you certainly have intelligence and you probably know what artificial intelligence is. Sure. Uh, to, to someone like myself, this is strikingly remarkable similarities to the Antichrist, that it is feeding people information and driving people to corners. Well, I, I, you, I, I'm with you all the way up until the uh, Antichrist, uh, Antichrist part. I mean, I don't, I'm, first of all, I'm not all that spiritual, so. Let's move on to Jeff. Hi, Jeff. You're driving to Tampa. Hope you're uh, driving safely. Oh, I'm doing my best. Right. Uh, I just thought of something. It was actually something you said, and you're not the first person to say it. Which we've been saying this as a country for ever and ever. Um, let me just give you a quick introductory into how pervasive racism is amongst all of us in this country. Let me ask you real quick. What is your father's nationality? My father? Yeah. Well, I come from kind of a mongrelized family. Okay. A little bit of this and that. And your mother? Uh, my mother's, uh, predominantly, my mother's family came from, um, uh, mostly from Alsace-Lorraine. Okay. Which is either French or German, depending on who won the last war. Yes. Well, so it doesn't work really well with the mongrelization thing, but suppose your father was German. L well, a little bit of Welsh. There's a little bit of Welsh in there, a little bit of French, a little bit of German. Okay. But for purpose of, of my point, let's suppose your father was German okay. and your mother was English. Okay. Therefore, that would make you a German journalist, right? <laughs> I guess so. I no, guess so. it wouldn't. It wouldn't. But here's the thing. We are unanimous in assigning a black persona to President Barack Obama. What color was his mother? His mother was white. Exactly. And I didn't hear black America referring to Barack Obama as the white president. He's equally white and black. Well, I mean, you know, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. We're just getting we're getting too far in the in the weeds here. Barack Obama self-identified as a black. Well, well yeah, as do most people that have black heritage. 
Identify, and I suppose he was, and he was more. You know, I like guess he was. He 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 certainly acknowledged his white roots. I remember when he went to Ireland one time. He uh, claimed some Irish Irish heritage there. Uh, a little in the weeds there. Let's go to you know, Let's go to uh, Lorraine in Tampa. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Dan. Um... survive this. We have survived so much as a nation that I believe, I, I, I hold out hope that we can survive this too. I take comfort in the fact that our, our institutions are strong. Yes. Our judiciary, we have a very strong press. I think that once we're hopefully through all this, that the media will be held up as heroes because without them, we would never know the truth. No. 